Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about salaries. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why is it that programming salaries are so high when the education and value of the average programmer is very poor? Well, I would say because of the, uh, the IT hype, it's the gold rush. And this is the one thing that I really think that that a company such as Google really is giving giving back to the community. I mean, they have, of course, um, very nice uh, tooling and so forth. But the 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 top brass IT companies they have really been able to lobby and make it really easy for a lot of really shitty programmers to get a really decent salary when in reality they should be paid no more than the average construction worker or day laborer in many cases because the value of the code that they are producing is actually not a, at the end of the day producing the sort of value that the company needs in order to to go uh, to, to actually make a real profit from the thing let me explain this a little bit so the thing that is being sold to practically everyone in IT is that there is a lot of money to be made, and that is absolutely true. And th that's why I think that this is a like a th this there is this is going to be a mixed answer to the question because I believe that it's like the reason why this perception is the perception is that the value of what a software developer does is so high is because one, one part because of culture, one part of because of projected value where people just project that everything that a software developer does because it's very technical, it's very valuable. That's not true. That's the key thing that we're going to touch on as well. Last uh, is going to be that there is no really good measurement tool for asserting the value of that of what the software developer actually does. It's really hard to tell how much value are you getting from this person. You're kind of just going on faith here, or like just sort of gut feeling how much value any one single developer is giving you. It's actually really hard in many cases to tell a really good software developer who produces a lot of money for the company from a shitty one or an average one it's super hard and that's what that that these things together create this situation where there is the the because the people who work in IT like all your stakeholders and so forth when they hire software developers they don't actually know what you do they don't actually most of them don't even know how long a piece of work should take they can't they can't tell a really complicated super feature in many cases from an average one they have no way of disturb they they i mean if you give a if you compare building a shed to building a skyscraper most people will be able to see the difference in complexity and skill that is required to do these things but very few people can actually see that in software development and this works uh, it's a two it's a two-edged sword this works uh, very well for average programmers and even the low-end programmers because they will like they they will in many cases be evaluated higher than they should be because there's no real way to figure like uh, I mean, all, everybody's saying that all the coders are geniuses and like every like uh, programmers are, are basically money just waiting to be grabbed like and sure that is true for the really good ones and this is where the double part of the double-edged sword sword comes in because the really good programmers who really do bring in these large sums of money the like the classic is the 80 20 rule 80 percent of the people in uh, practically any given company you can find like you, they they produce like they produce 20 percent of the value and 20 percent are producing 80 percent of the value and i have seen this happen over and over and over and over it's never like this ratio is really accurate i believe, personally believe because what i can tell you is that the average programmer as i said is no more valuable to the company than a construction worker in actuality if you give them the sort of responsibilities that you sort of like the, the trend is that you have all these rock star programs and so forth they will actually fuck up the code base much much more than they will help sure you're getting the code out 
but you don't understand what the, you, the cost that you are paying for getting that code out. If you want to really produce, a, c c cut costs and so forth, what you really want is to find a true rock star programmer, the ones that are really, really good, and put them in a position where they are empowered to oversee the work. Sort of as a, um, a foreman or something like that who's working on, with the uh, different construction workers. It's, you should, in, in my personal opinion, you should have the same structure to the work that you're doing in IT, but we don't because we have the, the, this, there's this culture idea that all programmers are geniuses. They're not. They're av most of them are completely average people and some of them are going to be paid quite, a, quite like more for subpar work than they're actually worth. But on the flip side as, as well, there's a lot of underpaid, really talented developers because uh, that, that uh, we, it, and it comes back to this weird way that we estimate value and so forth. Uh, the, like the one sentence that I can kind of say here that I think is the will represent my the principle that I, ha that I have for this is it's very easy to set the value of the work that you do when you're selling magic because the people who are buying your stuff like depending on their own value system they're gonna have like a gut feeling yeah but programmers are worth about that much and then the next company is gonna be yeah they're worth about that much uh, it's really hard to get a good baseline for the value of the work that a software developer does. So what I want you to take away from this is that the reason why I believe that the salaries are so high versus that uh, in many cases you are dealing with complete like people who are not as talented as you might want them to be or like they're not as educated as they should be or the overall performance from them is so poor, or sort of poor, is because you're looking at this from the perspective of somebody who really knows your stuff. You are most likely a software developer yourself, which means that you can evaluate where your skills are, where your peers' skills are, and you know what the re uh, you have the facts, you know what the range is roughly, and your gut feeling for the value that a person produces is much better than your manager and your stakeholders. They have no idea. Most of them, at the very least, they have absolutely no idea how much they should be paying this or that person. All they know is that they need all these coders and they are going to bring all this value, but they can't accurately evaluate how, uh, that maybe 20%, 80% of the people that they are paying, uh, they're overpaying them, whereas 20% that they should pay even more, they're underpaying. It's really hard to figure this out and it takes a lot of insight and a... Like a it takes a very sophisticated evaluation system. Usually I would say that uh, my, my personal favorite, if you want the best evaluation system for how much you should pay one person over another, uh, or what features and so forth you should be betting on uh, that you should place different people on, the gut feeling of a senior developer is the most accurate tool that we have that is known to humankind to evaluate the value of what a software developer brings to the table. And I can promise you, you will find, if you talk to the real seniors, that the vast majority of them will say that most developers, they can churn out code, but they're not you, you, like they're not producing something amazing like they're not rock stars they're average construction workers and then you have the 20 percent that are really really good that really make the difference and build like build the sort of innovations that you see at google and facebook and so forth and these people they're kind of just bunched together with all the other people to be fair usually they will start standing out at some point and will get usually um, get paid more but it's not a given because the way we evaluate the value of soft, uh, software developers' work is so inaccurate. Have a great day.